look at us, period, poo. <laughs> well, you guys, I actually mounted you guys on the wheels of the Mercedes. Got these from Throttle. So if you guys need any of your car needs, make sure to check out throttle.com. I think it's .com. But we got some new wheels for the Mercedes. They are 20 inch wheels. They're gonna be really big for that little car. In other words, we're gonna be pimping. We got 305 tires on the bottom and 275s up front. So the rears are gonna be pretty meaty. Um, but we're kind of not really in a rush, but we kind of should probably get going right now It did just rain as you guys can see the car is nice and pretty with all the water drops But the sky is about to clear up. I'm definitely not driving the Mercedes in the rain this one though This is the daily right now, but let's get a cold start on the Z On the way to Christina's house, Christina's mom's house. We're picking up the XT4 um, because obviously I own a whole bunch of two door coupes and I don't have enough room to bring those wheels and tires to the shop. So we're picking up that car. Once we pick up the truck, I'm going to Vet Lab to pick up the Mercedes. Then I'm going to the other shop to get the wheels and tires mounted, which Christina is going to meet me at that shop. So, a lot going on here. But um, just just stay tuned because like trust the process. We made it to the lab, Performance Lab Detroit. We are here and the Mercedes is here as well. Now, not only are we going to do wheels and tires in this video, we are going to be tinting the windows all around and of course blacking this piece out. So I think the only thing that we're not going to be doing in this video is lowering it. Ooh, did I just say that? I did. I did just say that. The first car that I've ever lowered, it's not going to be a traditional way either. I think you guys might be a little surprised how it's going to be done. And no, I'm not cutting the springs. Um, but I need to get all of this cleared off the roof. I need to reassemble the trunk pieces here so that the trunk closes correctly. And then I need to uh, secure the front bumper because the only thing currently holding it on is uh, these right here, these two bolts. But I did get a new grill. I did black out all of this, these lenses I tinted. I also painted this black. I did the headlights. I sent those out to California to get redesigned because I didn't feel like doing them myself, which I did do on the Mustang. Painted these black right here, the trim pieces, tinted this. Of course, we wrapped the car. I did smoke the tail lights as well. And then we're also gonna be doing some exhaust work to the car. That's about it in regards to the exterior. <laughs> All right, she's all done. You guys are a little crooked, that's okay though. But now let's start her up and get her moved out. Oh my gosh, she is out in the daylight. This is my first time seeing the car outside. I'm so happy right now, you guys. You don't even understand. Okay, we're leaving the shop right now. This thing looks great. Obviously, still needs, still needs some work. Still need some work. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy right now. This is beautiful, all right. And we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all, we're pulling her in. We got new wheels for the Mercedes. Now, I'm gonna unveil the wheels for you guys. Here they are. These are from Throttle, keep in mind. Look at this, oh my gosh. Dude, these are gonna look amazing. Look at that, oh my gosh, they look great. So. We're going to be mounting those onto the tires, TPMS sensors, balancing them, and then we're going to be throwing them on the car. Look at that test fitment on there. There's barely any room back here, but uh, there is just enough. And the tire profile is very, very thin. So you can see the sidewalls on these tires, how narrow those are. Now, keep in mind, you guys, we are going to be installing the diffuser, the spoiler, the front splitter, they're all carbon fiber. We're also getting it tinted in a little bit as well. So you're not gonna wanna miss that, just keep that in mind. There you go, most satisfying part of the video. Right here. Boom, oh yeah. You know how some Mercedes have the chrome ring around the end? Oh yeah. This looks like that. With the white? <laughs> yeah, yep. Man, look at that fitment. That offset is aggressive. Of course, the face of the front tires are pretty flush, as you can see. Uh, however, the rear tires, they have a little bit of uh, an offset there in terms of the center hubcap. Kind of curves in, it just gives it a more wide, aggressive stance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That fitment, you guys, is surreal. 
That really cleaned up the car. Say bye bye to the chrome 18s and hello to the matte finished 20 inch wheels. That is a nice look. Dude, let's go. Check those out. All the difference in the world right there, you guys. They don't even look like, I feel like you guys can't even see them too well on camera, but in person, they're so much like brighter. It's gonna look better when we lower it, get the lower trim of the car put on, and then we're gonna also black that out and tint the windows today, so. I'm about to head back to the shop right now, and we're gonna get uh, to work on the tint. Anyways, back to the shop we go. So, do you approve of the matte black wheels? I like the matte black wheels. You like the matte black wheels? All right, I didn't f up, good. Hell yeah. Really good. Can we uh, pull the WRX back into the shop? You mean push it? Put, push it back into the shop. Hurry up, let me see the car. Let me see, let me see it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Why does that like, if I just like have really bad vision, it looks like the MP412C black it does. seat. It looks like if a, I just a 12C. Because so aren't these the wheels they have? Similar, similar style, yeah. Similar that style. looks so good. They look really good. That looks really, really okay, but you gotta change the interior. Like I know. We, we're gonna work on that next. Don't worry. That looks but, yeah. so good. And the literally, I painted these matte finish to I match the. Match so well. I know, dude. I'm so happy with it. I was afraid that you weren't gonna approve of the wheels. No, I'm, I'm glad I you do. really like them, especially the rears with the offset. Yeah. These wheels are from our good friends over at Throttle. They look so good. So you know where to find the wheels if you guys want to get yourself a pair of these or any other car parts you need, Throttle has you covered. Uh, big steps with the car right now, you guys. Obviously the wheels were a big step in the right direction. Right now I'm reinstalling these door jams still, essentially. This just kind of cleans up the look, covers up all these mechanisms. You can see I actually already did the other side and it looks very nice. I was thinking of wrapping it carbon fiber, but we'll do that later. You may remember in the other video, we had this piece right here wrapped black. It didn't turn out good, so I'm rewrapping it. You're going to see the finished result of the window tint and the blacked out trim piece. I also did order some new hubcaps, and they are Mercedes hubcaps to get rid of these ones. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. She's in the bathroom. She's in the bathroom. Christina's reaction. <laughs> Little surprise for you guys. The Mustang is tucked away here in the back of the shop. And so it hasn't been started in a long time. It hasn't gotten any love whatsoever the past like six months. And I figured I might as well start it up. Let the fluids run a little bit through it. Those meaty boys on the back. I love how meaty these tires are. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is my baby right here. You can see I am charging the battery here. Uh, we're about to get a four month cold start, three month cold start on this thing. It is super dusty uh, and it is 80 degrees. Keep that in mind. Nothing too crazy, but uh, needs a lot of cosmetic work. My ongoing joke with this car is that whenever it's running good, it looks like crap, and whenever it looks great, it's running like crap. So uh, it has not failed me in that sense, and it lives up to that joke. So it is running healthy right now. That is insane. Well, I'm gonna let her run a little bit, and then back into the shop we go. <laughs> sunglasses for me ladies and gentlemen 15% on the sides and we're doing 50% up top this car is just gonna clean it up man it's just gonna clean it up the black wheels the black tint in one day damn that boy's running smooth Woo. Hear that? the clean air to fuel right there Oh, and it died. We got the windows tinted, you guys. It's another late night now. I did say that I was gonna wrap this piece in tonight's video. Plans changed. We are going to be doing, like I said, the whole lower trim of the vehicle in the next video. So if you wanna see that, the vehicle will be finished uh, after I do the lower trim. That's like literally it. Anyways, next video is gonna be the finished result from the exterior point of view. Please hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. I wanna thank you guys and I want to thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.